Hello, welcome back to The Crafty Organizer. I'm Noreen Burke and today I want to bring you more inexpensive storage solutions from one of my favorite stores, Ikea. Let's go! Now one of the reasons I love Ikea so much is it really is super affordable. They have some higher ticketed things, but for the most part, you can walk in and find some brilliant storage solutions for not a lot of money. So today I'm going to be focusing on most of the inexpensive favorites, but some things that you can use in creative ways to really maximize storage in your space. There's something about pulling into Ikea that always makes me happy. The bright colors just kind of lure me in. I go to the one in Carson. I am super lucky to have three Ikeas within driving distance. One is a half an hour, one is 45 minutes, and the other is just about an hour away. So I know a lot of you don't have that option, but I'm super excited that I do. As soon as you walk in, you see the wall of their RASCOG carts showing all of the different ways that you can utilize them. But one of my favorite things to do is walk through their showrooms and get different ideas on how they're utilizing storage. Here's a great example. Here's an open bookshelf where they fit in a table and used those shelves to make more shelving storage on the next bookcase beside it. This is just a smart way to repurpose an item that they have. This makes for a great little sewing and craft and storage space by just merging these two pieces together. Here's another unit they have. This is intended to be a dining area, but why not use this for a crafting or sewing space? You've got these big drawers with all of this big storage. You have the open shelves which can be used and the bottom shelves can be for the larger totes that you don't necessarily need. By pairing it with this little table, you have a perfect crafting space that would look nice during the day. These are new storage bins from Ikea. They're a soft-sided, stiffer felt. They're a really high quality. I think these would be great on shelves or inside of containers. And as always, they collapse to be a flat item when you don't need them. Here's what it looks like on a shelf. It's just a nicer, different look of something, but because it's a durable felt, it will really last. I noticed that Ikea is bringing out some more vintage looking pieces right now. I'm all about this depression looking glass, but this little hutch is super cute. And over here they've got more floral. Again, they're mimicking the more vintage pieces right now and I really like it. I'm being distracted by their decor. I'm gonna ignore this and go back, but I'm gonna show you one more item. They have these great 70s looking leaf printed things that I was just, I was having a good time with looking at these along with the Bohemian baskets. Now let's look into the storage. The Calyx Cube storage is so well known, but I noticed they have two sizes now. You see the one on the side for $69.99 and then this smaller unit for $49.99. Now the difference is the cube sizes. So let me show you. Here's a storage bin in this one and it fits perfectly. When I bring it over, you notice that there's about an inch all the way around it, meaning the smaller is exactly 12 by 12 and the larger is over 13 inches. The thing I love about these is you can have them upright or laying down to make a credenza style storage. Another newer thing that I've seen are these inserts to divide the spaces out of glass. This is great if you're using decorative items and you want a light filtering through, but it's just another way to utilize these cubes so that you've got more storage options. Another item that I'd seen before are these hanging baskets. This is great in an office setting when you've got a piece that you want in there for just a little bit more storage. Now I try and always keep things super positive, but every once in a while when I'm working in a job, I see this desk keep popping up. So I wanted to talk about why I don't think that this particular piece is very good. It's a little bit pricey and I think Ikea has so many better solutions. So here's why I don't like this piece. So here's this little corner unit, and again, I think it's more intended to be a kid's unit, but even when I worked in a teen's room, this wasn't working for them. It does have this little shelf underneath for cords or for a power strip, which is great, but it's definitely not big enough for any meaningful storage. 
Likewise, up above, it has these little shelves, but you guys, they are about four inches deep, and with the shelf in there, you can't fit anything in. Even with this little pullout, there is not enough space to store anything meaningful in here. So you might be able to put a tape dispenser, a stapler, maybe some small little post-it notes, but beyond that, there's no storage available in here. So definitely check out their other storage solutions and make sure you know the sizes of the things going in so that you're not disappointed once you get this home. Now let's look at a piece that I do like. This piece I love. It's a desk and the bookcase is sized so that it slides underneath when you are done. What? No, really, I love that because if you're in a small space and you don't have a lot of space to dedicate to your crafting or your office, you can pull this out when you're ready, doubling your surface space, but then you have easier access to all this storage. And because it's meant to go together, I just think this is a super smart idea. Now this one is a little pricier for those of us who are watching those pennies, but I still think it's a really smart design. It's already on wheels, it looks nice, and it will give you a ton of storage. This next piece I saw, I had just done a dupe and I didn't even know they had this. Look at these little rolling units that they have, and on the sides is a pegboard, but you guys, look at the price on this. This is a cool unit, though. It does have shelves put in. It has drawers. The pegboards on the side are really nice. If your budget will allow and you just want to grab this, these units are great and very sturdy. However, if you're interested in making a DIY on your own and saving a little bit of money, I did two versions, one with the Posh Paper Lady and then one with one of the IKEA storage racks. Another item they just started carrying, I had done a room divider before, but they now have one and it's pretty affordable. I also think it's beautiful and it covers a huge span. So if you're looking for a room divider, this one is already done. It only comes in the black or it also came in pine, but it has a thick transparent sheeting against it so the light still filters through, but what a great way to divide up a room if you need that done. And if you don't need it, it folds up against the wall super easily. This next little piece I'm going to show you, again, I'm never trying to be negative, but when I'm looking at something and I don't think it's worth the value, I want you to know ahead of time, especially if there's a solution that's similar in price, that's going to be so much more efficient for you. This little unit was one of those. For $29, you're getting this little rolling cart, but if I'm going to get a rolling cart, I want something to be more efficient. This was made out of a corrugated plastic and I felt like it was pretty flimsy. But the bigger issue that I had with it is it's meant to slope in. So that top drawer is actually super small. The way you assemble this is with nuts and bolts. And I noticed that those were not working well with this unit because they keep catching on the slides. Also, because they stick up, if you're not careful and you're reaching inside of the drawer, you're going to get nicked by those. So this might be great if you're just needing a little tiny unit in an office or a little area in the bathroom, but for any real storage, I don't recommend this one, especially when for just a couple dollars more, you can get this little pine dresser three drawers, super sturdy, and a lot more storage inside of it. And you guys, for a $10 price difference, I think you're going to be much happier with this. Plus, you've got all that surface space on top of the dresser that you can utilize. I think it's a smarter choice. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you prefer a wooden piece, or do you like the flexibility of that little rolling cart? Again, walking through these areas, I love getting ideas. Here's a little mock kitchen. They have this little pantry area that I'm in love with. If you had an open space like this, wow. They did a great job with the cabinets, giving you extra storage. And then I always love how they set up their laundry rooms. This one is just beautiful. And it makes me feel like I'm going through model homes, even though I'm in the middle of a store. This particular setup with all of these shelves was actually intended just for recycling, which actually is kind of cool. Now, I love looking at their items and thinking of them in different ways. For example, this is meant to be a drying rack, but with all those little prongs on it, 
This would be great for storing a bunch of little spools of threads or bobbins. But the kitchen section always has so much great storage that you can use and you could use these for different products. So always look at these with an open mind, think of your supplies and consider ways that you can reuse these super affordable and inexpensive storage solutions in ways that will fit your needs. I know I've mentioned these containers before, but I just can't mention them every time I do an IKEA video. You can find these kind of containers at the container store. However, they are going to be so much more expensive. I think the quality is about as similar as you can get, but boy is the price point different. I also like that you can get these in a couple of different sizes, and they also have some different finishes. So they have some that are solid white, those with a green interior, and they also have a black interior. So here's an interesting thing with IKEA. Each department has their own storage that most of the time is very similar. For example, we're gonna peek at these rolling carts that are in the kitchen section. Some of these are just phenomenal. They're so much bigger. They have this great little lip on it. So the containers I just showed you, look at how they fit on here. But you can get so many supplies on this if you're using this in a sewing room, a craft room, a paint room, but they're priced so much better because it's meant to just be a little drink cart rolling along, but it's still sturdy enough to hold what you need. Now we're gonna go downstairs and just look at some of the other quick things that I wanna point out. They always have fun seasonal decor. Right now they've got their summer items out, but they are starting to sneak just a couple fall things out. They have a lot of solar lights that are so much fun in your patio area, but these I think are actually fall, so I got a little glimpse at these. Because this area changes so often, it's just fun to see what new things they have, and once the season starts to come to an end is when they start clearancing it, so keep an eye out if you see something you like, always check in that as is section. Now going back to the carts, this is in the bathroom section and I lost my mind for these two. They're both rolling. The little gray one is great. It was about $25, but look at what this one does. The trays pop out, you guys. Now why is that important? If you are in a crafting section and you have your supplies in here, you can pop the trays out and set it on your surface area, use all your supplies, and when you're done, simply pop it back into place. What? I love this little unit. Now, you can't take them all out because they do hold the frames together, so you can only take one out at a time, but for $16.99, that is some storage that can't be beat. It's on wheels, easy assembly, and you can hold all of your supplies with the bonus of putting it on your tray, taking that tray off and putting it in your area when you need it. This one's my favorite of the day. Now let's go into my other favorite area. The home organization part is truly my favorite spot. So many different types of containers for different reasons, different sizes, materials, colors. Oh my gosh. They, this really is my favorite spot. And the amazing thing is sometimes they have smaller containers that are meant for, oh, I don't know, trash, but it's such a cute little container. Why not use it on your shelf to stick your yarn or fabric in? So really look at the organization styles they have. I promise they have a color that you like, they have a fabric that you like, and they have the size that you need. And if not, you can always spray paint them. I just showed you how to take these basic white organizers and spray paint them so it matches your decor. This is a set of five for just $2. This is another item I had not seen before. These are shallow trays, but they stack up. So you have about three quarters of an inch of storage before it stacks up. This would be great for beaters, for people who have small little things that they're working with, just to divide those all out. So check out their organizing section. I find that sometimes their bins are even less expensive than getting them at the dollar store. So just be prepared to look through the vast amount of options that they have. These big tubs are amazing. They do come with a lid. These are some big sizes, you guys. They come in a couple of different colors, but these are fantastic in a closet because they stack so well. 
This is the last thing I'm going to show you in this little area. This is a little sewing box. I think this was super cute. And because it's raw wood, you can absolutely paint this or decorate it any way you want. And again, in this section, I just love looking at the different options they have. And so many times they have displays set up so that you can see how items from the rest of the store integrate and pair together. This is always a fun source for inspiration. Another area they have a great selection is shelving. Now they have all types of different brackets. They have different shelf options, but if you just want to look at the brackets and get some basic pine wood that's normally inexpensive, wood prices right now are obscene. So these might actually these melamine shelves at IKEA might actually be a more affordable option right now. But with the different types of brackets, you can definitely integrate the shelf that you want, mix and match, and find whatever price point that you want. They have some that are really ornate and definitely higher priced, but then they have some that are just simple and as low as $2 per bracket. Now here was that rolling rack that I had used previously to make the rolling pegboard. So if you missed that video, I'll have it in the description below, but it was a super affordable option. And here's some things that you could add to that rolling cart just to get more storage inside of it. And you guys, they already have the bins that will slide inside of it to create a hanging bookcase where you could still roll it around and have motion to it. Now this one is a little bit pricier, but Bear with me on this idea. Look at this rack. This is meant for a wardrobe. But what if you only bought the two end pieces and instead of having them side by side like this, you spread it out so that it's wider. And in addition to that being wider, you now bridge those two pieces with one solid piece of wood to create a desk area. Now you would have this whole backspace for a pegboard or for wall art or a dry erase board and those two towers would be so much storage for only $169. This would create an entire workspace for not a lot of money. Those wire shelves that I love so much are so pricey right now. They do have them at Ikea, so if you're looking for those, it's about $88 right now, but they do have something different that I would not seen before. It's a little basket, which I kind of like. I think there's a lot of uses that could be used for, and they also have this little bamboo shelf that can go on top as a liner just to dress it up a little bit. Now this is something I saw in the kids section and as soon as I saw it I was like, oh, that could be used for crafting. It has all of these different placed shelves on it. This would be so cute for small bottles of paint or small jars of embellishments or little washi tapes. I think this would be cute for small stamps or stamp pads. You guys, I think we could get creative and this little unit can be used for all types of different stored options. Let me know in the comment below what you would use this for, but I think this would definitely be fun in a craft room to have a bunch of small little things put together. This is also in the kids section. This is meant to be a small desk hutch. For $20, it comes with three little shelves. But look at these little containers. These are sized perfectly for this unit. They're the exact same depth. You get a three pack for just $2.99 and look at how they fit on top of each other. So the way this is laid out, it looks like you could get about 10 per shelf on here. So you would have a little bit of dead space at the end, but that means you could get 30 boxes onto this little unit. There's also a place underneath where you could slide a paper cutter or mats, and you would still have all of that surface area on top. I think this is a super affordable solution for a craft space in the kids section. Here's another one with open storage at the top for all of your markers, paint brushes, knitting needles, and then you have the same type of storage underneath where those little containers can hold. So check out the kids department. This desk blew me away. This is a little adjustable desk. I love that for a lot of reasons, but also on the back, it will pivot up so you could have it at an angle. So when you want it upright, you just go ahead and flip the lever in the back but you can also pull out these little orange pegs and make it as tall as you want. It'll go up another two and a half or three feet. So you'll also notice there's a tub in the back. 
there's a bar that goes underneath it so that you can have storage bins. It has this dowel so that you could have paper coming across to cover your workspace, and then it has the little reservoir for the pens. So here's a peek at where you can put those storage bins. I think this desk would be amazing in a workspace. I'm sitting at it right now. It's the perfect height for me, but you could make it taller if you were in a wheelchair. So if you're looking for a small desk, $80 is a great price for something that is so versatile. You've got storage underneath, it's adjustable, you can tilt it. You guys, I think this desk is my second pick of the day. The kids section is my second favorite place to look for storage because there's so many fun prints and different shapes and fun designs. So these little containers have wheels on them they have lids, but you can still stack them up. So I love looking through the kids section for different things. And their furniture is also usually a great price and it's just a lot more fun to look at. They always have different options like these different handles that you can put on all of their units. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more spirited and whimsical, definitely check out the kids section. It's just as sturdy, just as great quality, and it's always affordable. These little stepped basket holders have always been a favorite of mine. I used to have these in my kids' room. I used it as their stairs to their bunk bed because we got extra storage out of it. And the bins are interchangeable. You could either have the one long one or you can have two shallow bins in there. Again, the bins come in so many different colors that you can really change this up to match your style. Now the holders also come in different shapes, colors, and sizes, so be sure to check that out. I just think these are great, affordable solutions, and you can also mount them on the wall to utilize that vertical space. The final floor I'm gonna take you through is where they actually have all of the small home decor items. As soon as you come down the escalator, you can smell the candles. It's so fragrant, but they have a lot of different wall art, decor pieces, small decorative shelves, plants, they have a whole section just with office decor items with calendars, dry erase boards, and bulletin boards. I really do love going to Ikea just to get so many different ideas, but I like looking at the items to see how I can use it in a different repurposed way. Again, my favorites for the day were that little cart from the bathroom area. The fact that I could take that tray out when I need it. Maybe I've got a lot of little things and I just want to sit on the couch and have my things close by. I can take that tray, set it next to me for easy access, but then pop it right back on the unit and roll it away when I'm done. I think that's amazing. And what was that, $16.99? It's a winner. The second one I was really impressed with was that little desk. I loved that you could adjust it for taller or smaller sizes. I loved that it tilted up when you needed it. It had the paper holder so you could either draw on that paper or use it to cover your workspace. And it had the storage underneath. For $79, I think that's a huge winner, especially considering that other small desk they had for the corner didn't have any storage and it was $150. So roam around Ikea if you can, check out their website. I know shipping is expensive for far so if you don't have an Ikea near you, I really am so sorry, but I hope you still enjoyed getting to look at these products. So if you ever do find an Ikea close to you and you have an opportunity to go, definitely check it out. Thanks for all the positivity at me slowing down and doing just one video a week. I already feel much better. Again, this will only be through the end of probably July, maybe the beginning of August, and then I'll get back on board with my normal schedule. Thank you so much to my patrons, and thank you to you for watching. If you would like to see your name on this list, my Patreon information is down in the description below, but other ways you could support me is just by clicking light, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all of those things tells YouTube that my channel is worth watching. So a huge thank you to you. I will see you guys next week in my next video. Bye.